On September 27, 2020, Genshin Impact launched on PS4, iOS, Android, PC, and Switch. Oh, wait. We got an introduction to the wonderful world of Teva, complete with a whopping 2 out of 8 of the land's regions, and magical elements that were totally not inspired by One Punch Man, the final wind user, and a plethora of waifus and husbandos to make everyone wet. In the beginning, you and your twin says, Step bro, I'm stuck, get separated by a girl who doesn't wear shoes. You wake up hundreds of years later to fish out a flying 5 year old that the fandom memes on as emergency food and have beat the joke to death more than Konosuba fans call Aqua useless. You find yourself in Not Germany, a land where freedom is his main theme, with its god being drunk Green Astolfo. You then team up with the Knights of the Round Table. Favonius. To fight the once good, now bad dragon Devalin in the worst boss fight in the entire game. Yep. 1.0 introduced us to four new characters you wouldn't have seen in beta, including the War on Poverty, Zombie Lolly, Not Venti, and the Sundere Cat Girl who's not really a cat girl. The rate of 5 stars were the aforementioned Trap God and Bomb Baby. Since the game was still new, the original meta was Batman, Virgil's Daughter, and of course, Male Sucrose. And the only real event that came out was a totally perfect and not at all janky Elemental Crucible, where you ran around picking up cubes. The main three story quests included helping Saber take a vacation, treasure hunting the terrorist Lolly, and discovering the backstory of Trap God. Going back to the main story, after you save the day with your dashing main character charm and harem building abilities, the CEO of Ara Ara from Russia comes in and dunks some green stuffle. You then make your way to not China and their god literally kills himself immediately as you see him, and you get framed for it. You then meet a rich playboy who calls you comrade and promises to help clear your name, and the story pauses there. 1.1 introduces to four new playable characters. The four stars were a real cat girl and the most neglected character in the entire game. The rate of five star characters were Archer Emia and Phallic Joke Simulator. Speaking of Dong Lee, upon his release, the community was outraged that he wasn't as strong as he was advertised in the trailer that literally didn't show any damage numbers at all. Either that or just bad at the game. This pressured Mihoyo into buffing him later on. The main event in this update was a large step up from the last one. Here you ran around the world fighting monsters while collecting meteorites by praying really hard. Only one problem though, it took resin. Yep, the community's biggest enemy since 1.0. But still, if you finished the event, you got yourself a free copy of Rika Takanashi. And the next event got the community heated once again. Get it? Heated? Laugh. As players find themselves unable to run, glide, or jump sometimes when playing as Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 2 Pizza time. when delivering food to ungrateful assholes in the strangest parts of the map. In Ed Sheeran's story quest, you find that he's the best Oni-chan in the world as he confirms his employment status was Toys R Us. And in Rock Dad's one, you discover the past of the Salt Archon. I'm not joking, this has to be a jab at the players. 1.1's story picks up last where it left off, as you get invited to a tactical nuke in the air. You then discover that the character that half the fandom calls Daddy is really the god of Not China. Who could have seen that coming? Comrade then betrays you and unleashes a big water snack to terrorize Not China. Here you can unlock a boss fight where you can constantly bully Child every week for ruining your 50 50. Through the combined efforts of Hot Topic, Purple Wind Tosaka, Geo Mommy, Coco Goat, Illiteral Grandma, and other various god animals, you defeat the giant water snake and save the day. Only for Dong Dong to give up his heart to the Not Russians. He then tells you to go east to Not Japan, where the god there is enacting Article 13, and the main story pauses there. 1.2 added a giant missing part of the map called Dragon Spine. Dragon's Pine? Dragon Spine? Where you find it would be beneficial to be any character not named Barbara. In the story, you climb up the mountain to meet with Needs a Refund from the Barber, who gives you a cursed sword. Oh yeah, and he threatens to destroy not Germany, and this plot point is never visited ever again. The main events in this update include Lost Riches, where you dig for coins to obtain Bottle Piss, and Hypostatic Symphony, where you fought shapes. That's it. The new characters this patch were Elevator Simulator and Coco Goat, whose character story had you become the IRS to stop tax evasion. 1.3 gave us a Lantern Rite Festival in Not China, where you helped Zhongli's emo son celebrate Not Lunar New Year. The main event for this update was Theater Mechanicus, where you played Tower Defense, but in Genshin. And if you gain enough points, you can redeem it for one of any 4 stars from Not China, including Gordon Ramsay, Metallica, Best Girl in the Entire Game, Wall Builder, Genshin Trap No. 2, and Popsicle Kun. The other event had you running around the world fighting Sonic the Hedgehog, and there was one where you took pictures of colors. In the first time in Genshin history, Mihoyo gave us 3 raid up banners in an update, with Green Kirito first, then Kachao, which no one rode for sadly, and finally Megumin which the community hyped up to an annoying level, especially when she wasn't in a trailer, and tons of Hutao simps took to Reddit and Twitter to cry. Speaking about it's just a prank bro simulator, in her story quest, you and her go to the Shadow Realm. That's it. And the main story continues with you meeting Genshin Kaiba, who hails from the lost land of Atheist, as he gives you the clues of the whereabouts of your long lost twin. 1.4 gave us Oktoberfest in not Germany, complete with fun minigames like Os and Fall Guys. This was also Genshin's first collab, which gave us the KFC wings. Wait, what do you mean only China server got it? What's the point of that? 
and the much beloved KFC Noel. This update gave us our very first rerun banner with alcohol poisoning as the first rate up 5 star, then Grumpy Nun as the second one. Wait, what do you mean Chad was the rate up 5 star? And the biggest event outside of the Wind Boom Festival had to adopt Paimon's replacement, and you had to teach her by beating the shit out of her larger counterpart. As for the main story, you once again meet up with Tatsu from Goku Shufudo, and finally meet up with your long lost twin who has been spearheading your enemy's faction since before the game's start. Oh yeah, and better Paimon reveals to you that the gods were the reason why his home was destroyed. After the confrontation with a literal Beyblade, your twin runs away and Dainsei follows after, and the story pauses there. 1.5 added a housing system to the game where you could basically do anything you expected to do, but to get there you had to go through a surprise story quest with Law & Order, where you... you... You talked about the law to the citizens of Leeway or something? I don't remember, I thought the story was boring. Speaking of characters, we got our second rerun banner as PP God returned with a new story quest, where he helped him rekindle his friendship with a toad. The second rate up character was a much anticipated Synovia Corta, and I can't be biased, her fans are really annoying too up until her release in terms of hyping her up. Just like the Hu Tao crowd. In Yuki Nonaka's story quest, to prevent her uncle from giving up not Germany to the not Russians, you must learn how to talk like aristocrats. The main event this update was a reskin of the Fisher one, where you went around the world to fight monsters and collect rocks to get a copy of a 4 star. Except this time, it didn't take resin. The next event was Prop Hunt, where playing with your friends didn't give you any currency. And the next one was a dungeon crawler, kind of. Where you got to try out different characters you didn't have before. And if you already had all of them, too goddamn bad. And in the final one, you go around the world to hunt down the way hail the churro, as you use his fellow brethren to sell him out. It also, it's worth noting that Twitter tried to cancel Eula over her ancestors owning slaves. Yes, they tried to cancel a fictional character. I love this fandom so much, it's full of smart and capable people. Jokes aside, if you're one of the people who tried to cancel Eula, a fictional character, you need help. Cause your life is so good to the point where your biggest worry you have is on the fictional lore of a video game character. Grow up. And finally, 1.6 was a huge update that gave us a new area to explore in the form of islands. With this came the rerun of Terrorism Lolly, who in the story goes to the islands to fight the Dodoko King, who has threatened to take away her beloved Dodoko toy, even though she could have stayed in Mondstadt to prevent this. But oh well, gotta progress the story I guess. Here we get to see the game's first skins with American idols being free and sabers costing 30 goddamn dollars. Later in the story, it turns out that Bomb Baby's mom is the ruse behind the Dodoko King, and jokes aside, it's a really heartwarming moment in the game. Speaking of islands, Aether Alter was the other rate up 5 star character, and in his story quest, we get to see Genshin's best girl show up after 8 damn long months, and she promises to take you on a ship to not Japan. As for events, the anime beach episode had you exploring a new region as you fought a mecha samurai, played 5D pool, tennis, and Sea of Thieves, but in Genshin. And that's it, that's everything that happened up until 2.0. Like, comment, subscribe, and that's it, bye.